lovely. It's absolutely beautiful. It is. It's turned out wonderful. Hi, my name is Gina Jones and this is my husband, Ken. Hello. And welcome to our newly remodeled master bath. Like you, we had been thinking about this major renovation for a couple of years. And then finally one day we just said, it's time, let's do it. It's not the first remodeling project we've had done, but it is the first bath. And we'd like to take a few minutes just to share our experience and maybe help you understand exactly what to expect. We'd like to tell you a little bit about our journey. As you can see, it turned out beautiful when it's done, but it is a lot of work. Hopefully we can save you from a few surprises. You know, when we look back on our bath project, we can break it up into three phases, the beginning, the middle, and the end. The first phase began as we finalized all the details and signed the contract. The time period that followed was a bit long, but our Lowe's project specialist, Kim, had done a very good job of explaining that there would be some downtime prior to the start of the project because the great majority of our products were special order, made specifically for our project. So the manufacturing time was gonna be about four to six weeks. As it turns out, Kim was right. The majority of our products came in right around the fifth week. The next step, was for Kim and our general contractor to come to the home to conduct the pre-construction conference. That's a pretty important meeting. Besides reviewing all the aspects of the job and making sure the site is ready, we discussed a number of things we probably wouldn't have thought of, like the GC's crew having access to a restroom, job site dumpsters, securing our pets, utilities being turned off, in fact, Kim and the GC had a complete checklist of items that we reviewed, and they even left us a copy. A few days after that, Ken and I had cleared out all of the items from the vanity and removed all of the fragile wall hangings so that we were ready to go. The big day was now upon us. Good news, day one began exactly as planned. Kim and the GC had done a very good job of explaining what to expect. The power and water were shut off, and the messy, dusty demolition had begun. Because of the mess and dust, our GC's crew would clean up each night, broom clean that is, and they did a very good job of giving us a job update every morning. At this point, Kim's advice had really sunk in. She had told us weeks before to move all of our stuff into the hallway bath and make a habit of using that space. As our master got remodeled, we adjusted just fine to using the hallway bath. So phase one was wrapping up. We'll have to admit it can be kind of messy, so we were glad to be moving on to phase two. Phase two is all about construction. In our case, that meant taking out some walls and moving plumbing and drains, along with some additional work to bring our plumbing and electrical up to code. This was also the time we got a little surprise. Oh yeah. <laughs> During the process of moving one of the walls, our general contractor came across a three to four square foot area of mold. And this did mean putting some additional money into the project. But we also got peace of mind because our general contractor brought in a subcontractor who was certified to remediate the mold. And we know our situation was taken care of properly. Your experience will probably be like ours. There are a number of different independent tradesmen that will be working in your home, and the general contractor has to schedule their work so the job will go smoothly. Having multiple trades on a project could add up to additional days, but your GC will have anticipated that, so no surprises for you. You know, that makes me think of a couple other things now that you mention it. Kim had explained there would be a fair number of independent tradesmen and their workers on site, but we felt confident, as she had also explained that everybody coming to our home would be thoroughly background checked and have the necessary insurance. Great points, Gina. You know, the part that struck me during this phase was the inevitable delays that can occur. Remember our first inspection? Oh, do I, like it was yesterday. The rough plumbing and electrical work, along with the extra work to bring it up to code, had been done but we had to get an inspection before the walls could be closed up and finished. Of course, we had to have the mold remediation inspected. 
it took the inspector four extra days to get out here. We ended up losing an entire week. So at times it can be frustrating, but you'll make it through if you communicate consistently with your GC. You know, at this point, it had been around three weeks since we started the project, but the end was in sight. and We were headed into phase three, which we thought of as the point where work began to put our bath back together. The tile floor was done pretty quickly, and around that same time, they finished up our beautiful new walk-in tile shower. Then we had a delay. Although it was a delay Kim had warned us of, we had picked out a great big, beautiful frameless glass door for our shower, and those are custom made. The catch is, as Kim had explained, these can't be measured for production until the shower is built. But our GC had done a great job of maintaining and working the project punch list, and this gave him that opportunity to get a couple of different independent tradesmen in to do some final polish work and be ready to finish the project once the shower enclosure came in. A couple of weeks later, they hung the new door and our shower was complete. Oh, it was starting to get really exciting. We were almost there. Yes, because right about the same time, our plumbers and electricians came back and hooked up faucets, lighting, covered the switches and outlets, and boom, we were done. And a day or so later, Kim stopped by, took a handful of photos of our brand new, beautiful master bath. It's been our pleasure to share our experience with you today. It certainly has. And remember, this is remodeling, and it won't be without a few bumps. But you are standing with a strong partner, dedicated to helping you love where you live. Thanks again. Bye-bye.